Hi everyone, DJ's Aviation here. Welcome to another video. Today we'll be discussing quite an interesting topic. That being, could a re-engined MD-11 or MD-11X work in today's market? Just to be clear, with this topic we will not only focus in on the passenger aspect of the MD-11, but also the freighter side of things, as the MD-11 was also a very popular bird with cargo airlines. In fact, it still is today with FedEx, UPS, Lufthansa Cargo, among a few other airlines that still use it for cargo operations. I hope you all enjoy the video. The McDonnell Douglas MD-11 is a three-engine, medium to long-range, wide-body jetliner. The MD-11 was based off the DC-10 and features a stretched fuselage, increased wingspan and winglets, and a smaller tailplane. There have also been new engines fitted to it. The MD-11's first flight was in early 1990, with it being introduced with Finnair in December of 1990. The aircraft was developed from the McDonnell Douglas DC-10. Obviously, when it comes to analysing whether the airplane would work in today's market, we have to go over a number of things. This includes firstly the seat market it would be placed in if it went back into passenger service. The passenger version in a two-class configuration could seat some 323 passengers, providing there weren't any fundamental changes to the overall length and width of the original aircraft frame. If you were to have a three-class configuration, so economy, premium economy, and or business and first class, you could fit 293 passengers. Again, this is a fantastic amount of passengers and certainly fits in that 250 to 300 seat market. However, despite all this, an issue that could be encountered if a new MD-11 came about is the three engines. In recent times, you may have noticed the rapid change in aircraft and also the change in what has become popular. Obviously, the Boeing 747 was a success. However, airlines are steering towards twin jet aircraft, and it only takes a second to look at Boeing and Airbus's future aircraft to get a gauge for what is becoming popular and what is popular. There's the A320neo family, the A330neo, the Airbus A350 family. Then there's the Boeing 787 family, Boeing 777X, and the Boeing 737 MAX. All of these are twin-engine aircraft. If this MD-11 was to be a success, there would have to be severe changes to the engines to further help the fuel efficiency and make it more attractive to customers. The MD-11 had a small 200 orders. The MD-10 gained a lot of traction, however. At this stage, UPS, FedEx, Lufthansa Cargo and a handful of others currently use the MD-11F for their cargo fleet, however there are no more remaining passenger MD-11s in flight. After just a quick search on Flight Radar 24, you can quickly see the scale of the MD-11s with them being ex extremely popular for transporting freight in America. Comparing this MD-11 fleet of multiple airlines to the scale of the 787 family is crazy and just shows how we've moved forward in recent times. There'll be a screenshot now as well showcasing the 787 family throughout the world and it really is crazy when you look at how they dominate every single part of the world at any given time of day. There was a rumoured MD-12 program which was set to focus in on a 300 to 400 seat aircraft in 1996. In that year as well, the company presented its plans. It was set to be named the MDXX, however, an interesting point is the fact that there was the use of the X. I know I'm clutching at straws, but it is certainly interesting to see possibly where the inspiration came from for these new airliner names and using the X almost as a revolutionary term. Either way, there was also plans for an MDXX long range version, which of course had a longer range than the original MD-11. However, the board of directors decided to drop the program the same year and we never saw an MD-12. In my eyes, the MD-11 is a beautiful aircraft and one of my favourites. I haven't had the opportunity, unfortunately, to catch it often, but in my eyes, the harsh reality is I doubt we'll ever see one come back, especially as a passenger version. There is a slight possibility it may work one day as a freighter, this is, of course, if Boeing don't come out with a new freighter, whether it be taken from the inspiration of the 777X or they just make a completely new one, as the 7478F did do okay, but was certainly not as popular as Boeing probably would have liked. There will be a video on the topic of the 777 freighter in general in the near future, uh, but feel free to leave me your thoughts on the MD-11 topic in the comment section below. This could include, do you think that the MD-11 is dead completely and simply won't come back? Or are you one of those optimistic people that believe a similar aircraft could return one day, maybe as a passenger version or simply just as a freighter? Thank you very much for watching. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers and that is just absolutely mind-blowing. So thank you very much for the support. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.